Hello everyone, it's Wednesday, and that means it's time for another food review with me, Panda. Today I'm going to treat yourself with some mug treats by Betty Crocker. Topping included! As usual, I will be rating the appearance, the quality, and the price of mug treats to see where it fits on a total scale from 1 to 15. So let's find out more about mug treats, shall we? Surprisingly enough, these mug treats were found at a 99 cent store for the low, low price of $2.99! I'm just kidding, it was actually 99 cents. What's really nice about these mug treats is that you're looking at four individual servings as prescribed on the box itself. Now, I'm not a huge fan of the color purple, but in this case, it works for the pack Packaging. It's very nice, uh, pleasing to the eye as usual. However, the one complaint I do have about with the appearance thus far is the fact that there are so many damn things uh, just squished. They're just squished on the on the front. I will say this though, at least the directions are very clear and very concise. You can't get this wrong. I think it's about time we go make ourselves a mug treat. Okay, here we are with our mug treat setup. You need a mug as epic as Mega Man. You need the individual packets that come in the actual box. You need a spoon to stir and eat said contents right there. And finally you need, what is this, one tablespoon? There you go, one tablespoon and one teaspoon of water or milk. It would be helpful if you have the freaking directions in front of you like this. Follow the directions and you will be fine. Oh, I forgot, you need a microwave. Microwave West Bend. I'm not sponsored or anything, but you need microwave. Okay, I'm gonna set this up and show you um, uh, the results. Okay, so after you've done the first steps of said directions, your mix should look like this. Not too pleasing, right? Or maybe it is, I don't know, you, who, who's weird? I don't know, I might be weird. So now you should have the mug, the topping for leftover, and a spoon that has clearly been used for mixing. And now this super fighting robot is going to go where no super fighting robot has gone before and after it's done, I'll show you how it turns out. All right, Mr. Mega Man, how do we do? How do we do? Oh my gosh, that, I mean, you can't tell because, oh, there we go. Looks pretty damn good, right? That's, it didn't rise as much as I'd hoped, but you know, it's a win. So now, after it's been microwaved, you let it sit for two minutes, but I guess you can put this on, the topping on while you, I don't, I don't know. F wait, fudge contains what? Dairy? Okay, I'm fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on my topping off screen and then in a couple minutes I'll be back at my desk and uh, we'll do a taste test, right Mega Man? Now as you saw from my crappy smartphone footage, it's not gonna look the best in the mug, so I'm not gonna show you here uh, how it turns out after you put on the topping, but I'm going to proceed to do a taste test right now and then head to my final thoughts. Now this doesn't look that tasty, to be honest, but I mean, it's... Who cares, right? It's how it tastes. It's not how it looks. I'm not freaking Chef Gordon Ramsay over here. God damn. So, uh, yeah, let's, let's just, let's just do, do this. Um, <laughs> screw it. Um. I took a big bite. Hey, it's not bad. So after having my first taste of the mug tree, I feel like it's met my expectations taste-wise. However, I don't know if it exceeds it, so I'm gonna do another bite. <laughs> mm? Mm. Mm. It's pretty damn good. So let's move on to the final thoughts. I'm gonna be very quick with the appearance. I'm just gonna give it a straight four out of five only because I feel like the real estate on the front of the box was too crowded. There were some elements I feel like they could fit on the sides of the box, but other than that, everything else, including how the the mug tree actually looked after being cooked, it was just fine, it was great. As for the quality of these Betty Crocker mug treats, I will say that the taste met and slightly exceeded my expectations. Now, it's not as good as your deli brand because I personally feel it's the best brand for brownies, cakes, whatever. Whatever you want, to, any type of dessert you want to bake, I think that's the best brand out there. However, this comes very close to it, and because of all that, I'm gonna give it a solid five out of five. And this area should be a no-brainer. Obviously, the price is gonna be five out of five. You get four of these packets to use, so you get to enjoy this four times in a row. Obviously, it's gonna be a five out of five. I haven't seen any other dessert thus far, 
that could exceed uh, the price to quality and quantity ratio. Honestly, I'm not surprised that these mug treats were gonna be rated so high for me personally, just because it's Betty Crocker, which is a pretty established brand out there. And it's, it's brownie and cake mix. How can you go wrong with that? We have a total 14 out of 15 for these mug treats. Congratulations, Betty Crocker. Amazing, amazing brand, amazing product, amazing. That's going to do it for this video, everybody. Once again, if you have any other products you would like me to try uh, just to showcase on my channel, let me know and I will rate them accordingly. And yeah, until next time, I'll see you all later.